All right, breaking news earlier this evening, the House Intel Committee ranking member Devin Nunes sent a letter to the NSA, the State Department, the CIA, the FBI demanding answers about Joseph Mufsed. Now, remember, this is the, quote, professor, the academic who told George Papadopoulos that the Russians, he had dirt on Clinton, Hillary Clinton. Remember the story? And by the way, George Papadopoulos also will be joining us. Joining us now to explain is Congressman Devin Nunes himself. Congressman, thank you. Last minute, we appreciate it. The breaking news. Rather breaking than me, I, I have the full copy of your letter right here, but rather than me explaining it, I think it would be best if you did. Well, it's great that uh, you, you, you're remembering the story. And if you recall, after the Mueller report, which I call the Mueller dossier, came out, I said that we were going to comb through it. One of the first things that we found is they used a news report, a Guardian news report, to claim that the Link campus uh, was a place uh, where Mifsud uh, had worked. What they failed to say in that same report is that Mifsud was actually related to Italian intelligence services. So. You can't, if you're Mueller, you don't get to just report part of what you want in the story. You have to put the entire piece before the American people. He didn't do that, so we're calling him out. This is not how investigations are supposed to be run. When you look into Mifsud closer, Professor Mifsud closer, you realize that he is connected with all kinds of intelligence agencies, including our own FBI. And in that letter, Sean, you'll see there's pictures with FBI agents at the Link campus where Professor Mifsud teaches at. So we asked the question, and I'll just get to the, I'll sum it up like this. Uh, we want to know every document that these agencies have related to Mifsud, because if he is in fact a Russian agent, this would be one of the biggest intelligence scandals for not only the United States, but also our allies like the Italians and the Brits and others. Because if Mifsud is a Russian agent, he would know all kinds of our intelligence uh, agents throughout the globe. So you, we ask you, those questions. We want those documents. We're giving them a week. You said that this professor has, you know, all these connections to other Western intel and governments and yeah the issue about russia um which Mueller implies he was a russian agent but it may be much deeper is how i'm seeing this and my question to you is do you believe in an effort to illegally spy or get intelligence on the american people that it's possible that some at the top of our intelligence chain community under obama biden that they may have outsourced things that were illegal for them to do to Americans so that they could have our allies do the spying for them. Like, let me give you an example, Great Britain or Australia or maybe Italy. I think I'm, am I over the target here? I think you are. And, and one of the things that we point out in the letter is we're very specific because the FBI, or I should say the Mueller group, claims that Papadopoulos misled them and they were not allowed to get to Professor Mifsud in time in order to, to interview him. This is the claims that they make against Papadopoulos when they sentence him to prison. Now, what, what we found is, well, wait a second, if, if this really happened, and if you backtrack all this, and, and they're basically making the claim that Mifsud is the guy who said he had emails or he knew of the information about the emails being in the hands of the Russian government. If that is in fact true, they couldn't talk to Mifsud supposedly until January, February of 2017. Well, how do they know to ask Papadopoulos all through 2016 whether or not he's seen the Russian emails or whether he knows about Russian emails? The only way that's possible is that had to come from Mifsud some way, somehow. So I think there, it's more likely that uh, I'm going to be the starting center on an NBA basketball team before Mifsud is a Russian, secret Russian agent. Now, who right. Mifsud's working for, I don't well, know. Then, but right now, Sean, like everything we've had to do, we have to be slow and patient. We have to get the information because we need to see what exactly was the relationship between Mifsud and our FBI, Mifsud and our State Department. 
That's those and, are the questions And Mitch said asking. in our intelligence community, you know, by the way, I wish I thought of this myself. I'm kind of jealous. Uh, the uh, Mueller dossier, which is interesting. But you specifically talk about omissions in the special counsel's report. And you also talk about, explain how Papadopoulos met Mifsud. Now, here's the thing, Congressman, we're, I'm going to have Papadopoulos and his wife on. And the story and the tale that we now know is true. Even the New York Times, I think, trying to get ahead of it because they know it's coming out. I don't know how long you knew, but you didn't tell me, and I wish you did. But they were using, you know, a young, pretty, flirtatious woman in this equation, right out of a, you know, a James mm -hmm. Bond novel or movie, um, to set Papadopoulos up, uh, along with Stefan Halper, along with this professor. Is there anything I'm saying that's wrong, and how deep did it go? Well, I can tell you, I said this a year ago, and, and I got mocked and others got mocked. I said, look, I don't, I'm not interested if, if the Trump campaign was spied on. That happened. That's, that's fact. I want to know how many spies, informants, whatever you want to call them, were run into the Trump campaign. So look, uh, the New York Times story right now says two. Uh, that's up from, from one. My guess is it's a lot more than that. If you listen to what Attorney General Barr said yesterday, as sophisticated as this operation was, uh, to have a FISA warrant on someone, there had to be a lot more involvement considering the, the type of people, the level of people that were involved uh, in this investigation from our own FBI. So my guess is, I'm still holding to what I said a year ago, I want to know how many spies were run into the Trump campaign, and I still don't know, but we're going to get the answer and we're going to get it out to the American people. I count three instances when you include FISA, but Thank you for being with us. Congressman, please don't stop what you're doing. This is too Thanks, important Sean. to the foundational...